Hi and welcome to lesson 9.5 on solving volume problems. We start with this uh, formula for the volume of a prism and it's the base area times the height of the prism and that B remember is the base area not the length of the base. So we start with this example one uh, Bradley's tent is in the shape of a triangular prism. How many cubic feet of space are in his tent? Notice triangular prism. A prism has two bases. They are parallel to each other and they're congruent, which means they're the same shape and size. So this is a triangular prism. It's easy to see there's two triangles, one in the front, one in the back. The triangle is the base of the prism, not the rectangle. So when we take the area of the base, we're taking the area of the triangle. And that's what they're doing here, the triangular prism. So the area of a triangle is one half base times height. So one half, six times four. And our area of the triangular base is 12 square feet. So now we translate that to find the volume of the prism. And we take that 12, that's the base area, times the height of the prism. And the height of the prism is the distance between the two bases. And the distance between those two triangular bases is 9. So that's why we're multiplying it by 9. 12 times 9 is 108. So we have 108 cubic feet. That little 3 is cubic. How many cubes fit inside of the tent? Not before a square, square, um, what, uh, surface area was the squares that fit on the surface. This is now cubes that fit inside. Okay, so analyzing the relationships for a prism that is not a rectangular prism, how do you determine which sides are the bases? Well, they're the non-rectangular sides are the bases. And that is another characteristic of prisms. Prisms have rectangles for bases. Notice this is a rectangle. It's sitting on a rectangle, and the left side right here is a rectangle as well. So there you go. Uh, on this one. So you're asked to find the volume of the prism. The volume is the base area times the height of the prism. And the base is, once again, a triangle. And, and I can tell this because on this prism, all of the sides of it are rectangles. And we have two bases. They're both triangles. They're parallel to each other. And they're congruent to each other. So the area of this triangle is uh, base times height, 24 times 7 but you have to take half of it, which is the same thing as dividing by 2. I saw that 24 divided by 2 is 12, so I just did that little part. 24 divided by 12, uh, 24 divided by 2 is 12. And then I still have the 7 here. So 7 times 12 times the height of the prism is that distance between the bases, 22. And uh, you multiply all three, and you get 1,848 cubic meters. All right. On to the next part, a trapezoidal prism. Okay, prisms are named for the polygons that form their bases. In this lesson, you'll focus on prisms whose bases are either triangles or quadrilaterals other than squares and rectangles. So this base uh, is a trapezoid. And the trapezoid has two parallel bases. It has one here and one here. One is four from here and the other one's six. And the height of this trapezoid is the distance between the bases, which is 4. This 9 is the height of the prism, which is the distance between the bases. Okay, so find the area of, uh, and we're going to use this, we're still using volume is base area times the height. So first we have to find the base area, which is the base, the area of that trapezoid. And this is the formula for the area of a trapezoid. Uh, the two bases, are of the trapezoid are six and four so we have six plus four and the height of the trapezoid i mentioned earlier is four so we enter those values in there and we evaluate using the order of operations six plus four is ten and ten times four is well you could multiply half times ten which is five and five times four is twenty Okay, that's the area of the base, but we have to multiply it by the height of the prism, and the height of the prism is 9. So we take that 20, and we multiply it by 9, and 20 times 9 is 180, so it's 180 cubic feet for the tent, for the volume of the tent. 
So a follow-up question here is, how could you double the volume of the tent by doubling just one of its dimensions? Well, if you double the height of the base uh, of the prism, double the height of the base of the prism. So if we double the height of the base of the prism, so if we double this number, that would double the volume. And also, we or we could uh, adjust the height of the prism. We could double this height right here. If we double either of those, you would double the volume. And how would doubling all the dimensions of the prism affect the volume of the print uh, of, of the tent? Well, I'm saying it would multiply the volume by eight. It would be eight if you if you doubled all of these numbers here. If you doubled all of them, the volume would increase by eight times. And I've actually done that right over here. So what I did is I took each of the dimensions, six and four. This is for the volume, I'm sorry, the, the area of the trapezoid right here. This part right here, I doubled from right here. And actually the four, I doubled as well. So the four, I doubled here. So this part is all double the size of this. And then I multiply that by double the height of the prism. So it's two times nine. So I doubled that nine right there. And when I do this, I uh, what I did is two times six is 12, two times four is eight, two times four is eight, and two times nine is 18. And I had to add these two together. So that's 20. And then I took half of 20, which is 10. And then I multiplied the other two numbers here. Uh, 10 times 8 times 18 is 1,440. Now, if I take that 1,440, which is doubling all the dimensions and taking that volume, and then divided by 180, which was our volume, uh, our original volume, that is 8. And that shows us that this doubled, uh, doubling the length of everything is 8 times the size of our original. Okay, now I have this here, uh, this your turn question. Take the volume of this. Well, I have, I guess I'll zoom in again. I have um, the volume is th this part right here, doing all of this. That's the trapezoid. So this is the area of the trapezoid. Uh, so one half, one base plus the other base, one base plus the other base, which is 12, uh, times the height of the trapezoid, which is 10. Okay, that gives me the area of the trapezoid. But uh, I decided to go 8 plus 12 is 20, half of 20 is 10. I wrote down that 10. And this 22 is the height of the prism. So the height of the prism following our formula right over here, base area, trapezoid times the height of the prism. And we have, uh, well, I really just multiplied 10 times 10 times 22, which is 2200, and that's 2200 cubic centimeters. And that's what you gotta know for all of our stuff so far. And we have trapezoid. Now we have volume of a composite solid. Now, if you remember, a composite figure is made up of several other figures. Uh, we have, uh, looks like a lot of stuff here. You can use a formula for a volume of a prism to find the volume of a composite figure made up of prisms. So, Ali has two aquariums connected by a small square prism. Okay, two, two of them, and there's the connection. Find the volume of the double aquarium. So, we're going to go with uh, the volume of each of the larger ones. It looks like they're the same size. So uh, the volume of the base area, that's three times four. So this is three, so that means this is three, and three times four is 12. Times the height, which is three, right there. And 12 times three is 36. So that is the volume of one of the aquariums. Okay, and the volume of the connecting prism, this little part right here, is an area of the base. So it looks like the area of the base here would be one times one, uh, which is one, 
and times the height of that prism. So that distance between the bases is two and two, one times two is two. So we have 36, but we have to add the 36 two times because there's two of those uh, aquariums and one connector. Add these all together and you get 74 cubic feet. So that's the volume of the aquarium. And now what if, find the volume of one of the large aquariums on either end using another pair of opposite sides and, and, and the bases. Do you still get the same volume? And I say yes, you could still, so what they're saying is, we found the area of the base three times four and then multiplied by three to get the volume of one of those. But what if, what if I said the base was actually this right here? Well, on a rectangular prism, you can uh, you can choose a different base on this and still get the same answer. On this, I would take the volume, uh, the area of this base, which is three times three, and that's nine. And then I have to multiply it by it now. Now the height of the prism is four, so three times three is nine. Nine times four is thirty-six, and thirty-six is still the volume of that uh, prism right there. So I say, yes, to find the volume V, you still multiply by the same dimensions, three, three, and four. Okay, our uh, last problem here. Find the figure, uh, the figure is composed of a rectangular prism and a triangular prism. Find the volume of the figure. Okay, here's our figure. And what I did is I did all, I had to do all my work here on the notes part here. So I broke it down into two different parts. I, I could have seen this as a, uh, what trapezoidal prism, but I decided to call it a rectangle, rectangular prism and a triangular prism. So my rectangular prism, I have 13 times 13 for the area. So this is 13 and this is 13. And I'm going to multiply those two together to get the area of the square. And that's what I did right here. 13 times 13. I multiply it by 30 because that's the height of the prism. The height of the prism is this, that's the distance between the two bases. So 13 times 13 times 30, that is 5,070 for the volume of the rectangular prism. So V for volume, rectangular prism. And now for the volume of the triangular prism, I, I used uh, the area of the base. It's going to be base times height. So 9 times 13, 9 times 13 because that's 13. 9 times 13 divided by 2 is the area of the triangle, and that's what I have here. 9 times 13 divided by 2, and then I multiply by 30 again because that's the height of the prism. The height of the prism is the distance between the bases. 9 times 13 divided by 2 is 58.5. Multiplied by 30, 1,755. Now the complete uh, total volume is the rectangular prism plus the triangular prism, so I added those two together, and I get 6,000. 825 cubic inches. And that is my final answer, 6,825 cubic inches. And that's what you got to know about the volume of uh, rectangular prisms and solving these volume problems.